stop allowing evil forces to shape and control your day yes your day stop allowing these evil spirits to shape and control your day no wonder your days are always stagnant some of you wonder why your day or your days are never productive some of you wonder why you keep on falling for the same sin over and over again each and every day you see no progress or change some of you wonder why each and every day you plan to do something good with your day like fasting or praying you find yourself not living according to what you've planned some of you wonder why your days are always filled with sadness grievance depression the feeling of unworthiness i need you to understand that the enemy's plans are to steal kill and destroy you he does not want you to experience peace he does not want you to be productive because he knows that your blessings come from productivity he does not want you to be productive spiritually he does not want you to be productive with your day he finds a way to control and shape your day so that your day does not produce good fruits he wants your day to be useless and many may ask how do we allow the enemy to shape and control our day now i need you to understand something what shapes your day is the attitude you have towards the day and that attitude shapes your behavior it shapes how you behave during the day how you behave towards the day so what the enemy does is he gives you a negative perception of your day by instilling negative and discouraging thoughts in your head which will give you a negative and discouraging attitude towards your day and shape your behavior for example when you wake up in the morning and the enemy instills in you a negative and discouraging thought that negative thought will evoke a negative attitude you will then have a negative attitude towards your day you wake up in the morning and the enemy convinces you that today is a lazy day and then you end up declaring oh today feels lazy oh today i don't want to do anything you are already declaring your day to be lazy and trust me nothing will be done if the enemy convinces you that you cannot fast today if the enemy convinces you that you cannot pray today you will find your day not being productive spiritually if the enemy convinces you to partake in that sin that you are struggling with today he tells you you know what just do it today tomorrow you won't do it ah he's lying tomorrow you will convince you again to do it and then you find yourself partaking in that sin ah you 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 have already submitted your day to the enemy so the enemy controls your day by tricking you into falling for his lies and the moment you fall for his lies your day will be shaped according to his lies and according to his will now if you want to see change in your day if you want to submit your day to god do this we all know that 12 o'clock midnight is the beginning of a new day so every 12 midnight wake up and begin to declare upon the new day in the name of jesus and when you declare do not say things like my day will be productive my day will be blessed no declare as though it is declare that today is blessed declare that today is productive declare that today is the day you resist that sin that you have been struggling with declare that today is the day that that struggle ends in the name of jesus declare that your day is peace declare that your day is protected declare that the enemy has no authority over your day declare that you are ready to resist to defeat any form of temptations to resist any form of laziness to resist any negative thoughts and negative suggestions that comes from the enemy so my brothers my sisters i plead with you to wake up every 12 midnight and declare upon your day as though it is because when you declare upon your day you will be aware of the enemy's schemes so whenever a negative thought comes into your head or a negative suggestions come into your head you will reject it because it does not align with what you have declared so throughout the day be meditating on your declarations in the name of jesus understand that your strength comes from jesus and it is because of the name of jesus that your declarations will prevail